Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam Ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi Wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabitu fillah The call to Tawheed is first and foremost because the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the key to our success in this life as a hereafter, as well as the hereafter. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I'm not creating mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, which also lets us know that this was not a unique call. This is not a, a call that was innovated or a call that was brought, brought about by a new group or a new sect. But in fact, this was the call in the Minhaj al Anbiya, and that's why it's the Minhaj of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, Wallaqad ba'athna, Wallaqad ba'athna fi kulli ummatin, Rasulin. Which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we sent to every nation a messenger or a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid a tagut, avoid any and everything that people take as false deities. That's what the NBA were given as a message and, and a duty. And that was actualizing the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which we find in the hadith of Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu, in which he was riding on a donkey in which he said, Kuntu Radif al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam faqal. He said, I was on a donkey, I was uh, riding behind the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on a donkey, and he said, Haqqallah ala ibadi. Qal, Ya Mu'adh, atadri ma haqqallah ala ibadi. So the Prophet Sallallahu said to Mu'adh, he said, Oh Mu'adh, do you know the right of Allah upon his servant? And, and the right of the servants oh, uh, upon Allah? Mu'adh, radiallahu ta'ala, and as all the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, and Mijra'een were the people of taqwa, the people of piety, and the best of this nation, the best of this ummah, Mu'adh re re replied with all humbleness and inquisitiveness and not wanting to make a mistake. He said, Allah wa Rasulu wa'ala, yufawud al-amr ilallah, ilallah wa Rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He gave the affair back to, 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 to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this knowledge, this ilm, and to his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, Allah wa Rasulu wa'ala, he said, Allah and his messenger know best. Prophet said, He said, The right of Allah upon his servant is that he worships him and him alone and do not associate his partners with him. He said, the right of the servants, you and I, those people who are uh, a bead before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all of mankind is. He said that the right that, uh, that we have over Allah is that if we perfect our tawheed and we worship Him and Him alone only, never committing shirk, then He will not punish you for 
uh, 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 in, in Jahannam. He will not punish you. So that shows us, Sahaba Tifillah, that the A'adham, ma amar Allahu bihi a tawheed, that the greatest thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us with is tawheed, is the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore, how is it, and why is it that there are many jama'at who believe that we have to compromise tawheed? They believe that tawheed is not so important. They believe that they should only emphasize one aspect of Tawheed, like Tawheed ar the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Christians say God is one, we say God is one. So then they want to make a likeness between our deen and the deen of Ahl Kitab. But this is incredible falsehood. You cannot compare Haq with Batr. You cannot compare Iman with Kufr. Because Ahlul Tawheed, they believe in all the categories of Tawheed and they believe their Dawah begins with Tawheed and it ends with Tawheed. And that everything we do, every act of worship is a part of Tawheed, whether it's Hajj, whether it's Jihad, whether it's Salat, whether it's Zakat, whether it's uh, fasting, all of it is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of it is a part of Tawheed. All of it is fulfilling that divine objective. I've not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of Worshipping me. <laughs> Therefore, Habitullah, the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah is the Dawah which maintains that call. So, whenever you want to look at a group or an individual, someone calling, see and test their Dawah, see if it is based on the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. See if it is truly the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, as our Shaykh, Shaykh Imam. Mukbil bin Hadi al Wadi, Allah Yarhamahu, a great muhaddith of Yemen, he said, Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, Dawah to Min Kitabila ila Kitabila. Women Sunnati Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa la alihi wa sallam, ila Sunnati Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa la alihi wa sallam. So he said the Dawah of Ahl Sunnah, the Dawah of Ahl Haq, the Dawah to Ahl Tawheed, the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, the Dawah of the Salafis, the Dawah of the Salaf Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, is the Dawah from the book of Allah to the book of Allah. And from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So that's the Dawah to Tawheed. That's a Dawah to Kitab wa Sunnah. It's a Dawah to what our religion is based upon, not on ideologies, not on political platforms, not on Wahda uh, Idyan, uh, 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 you know, making a new religious faith, which all religions are okay and all ways to Jannah are okay. La, it's a Dawah to Tawheed. It's be, it distinguishes between uh, 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 Shirk wa Tawheed, between Kufr and Iman. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahl Iman, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.